This story is not about a kitten by Randall DeSev and Carson Ellis. This story is not about a kitten. A kitten, hungry and dirty, scared and alone, meowing sadly, needing a home. This story is not about the dog. was stopped when it heard the kit, hungry and dirty, scared and alone, meowing sadly, needing a home. This story is not about the people's dog who listened or the dog who stopped when it heard the kitten, hungry and dirty, scared and alone, meowing sadly, needing a home. This story is not about the woman who held the dog for the dog's people who listened, or the dog who stopped when it heard the kitten, hungry and dirty, scared and alone, meowing sadly, needing a home. This story is not about the twins who brought a box, or the woman who held the dog for the dog's people who listened, or the dog who stopped when it heard the kitten, hungry and dirty, scared and alone, meowing sadly, needing a home. This story is not about the man drinking tea. Who offered some milk, or the twins who brought a box, or the woman who held the dog, who stopped, or the dog's people who listened. And quietly, carefully coaxed the kitten. who clawed and hissed and fought a big fight. Until we'll call her Amber, everyone agreed, but who could take her home? Landlord says, no pets, we're moving, I'm allergic. Would we? This story is not about the child who asked, could we? Or the man who offered some milk? Or the twins who brought a box? Or the woman who held the dog for the dog's people who listened? Or the dog who stopped when it heard the kitten? Now full-bellied and clean, no longer alone, purring happily, home. This story is about the stopping and the listening, the holding and the bringing, the offering and the asking, and working together it takes sometimes to get there. Amber is the sweetest. Can I visit her every day? Yep. 
Achoo, gesundheit. What a happy little buddy she is. I can't believe that you, you two lived next door this whole time and we never met. More lemonade? Yes, yes, see. Si.